Cyclists are recovering tonight after investigators say a 16-year-old driving a pickup truck crashed into them. This is a picture of that aftermath. You can see bikes left mangled on the side of the road there. It happened yesterday morning after 10:30 on Business 290 out in Waller County. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner spoke to a man who was training with those very cyclists. She joins us live with what he's saying about the crash. Rochelle, good evening. Jonathan Sion, good evening. Chase Farrell says this could have been a lot worse. He was traveling behind those six cyclists when the crash happened and says the driver should be held accountable. When I pulled up on the scene, I thought I was going to be pulling up the people that were dead. Chase Farrell is talking about his friends who were hit by a truck while they were training for the Ironman Marathon. It happened Saturday along Business 290 in Waller County. A kid in a black truck attempted to uh, roll coal us where they accelerate past blowing diesel uh, exhaust on cyclists. We found several videos of rolling coal on YouTube. You can see thick black smoke blowing on cyclists. Farrell says the same thing happened to the group and the driver wouldn't stop doing it. It made me mad, so I accelerated to try to catch up to him, to bridge up to him, so I could take a picture of his truck, take a picture of him, take a picture of his license plate, something. Before Chase knew it, the driver of the truck, identified as a 16-year-old, hit six cyclists. They were taken to the hospital with shoulder, back, and neck injuries. I mean, it's senseless. It doesn't make um, any sense for anybody to do that to any cyclist. I mean, it, um, it's pointless. Chase says the team pulled over and spoke to officers, but he was never arrested. While he's grateful his friends are alive, he says something needs to be done. I don't understand. If it was me who had struck somebody else with my bike or, or some other, um, my vehicle, a pedestrian, you know, I would be a fog be in jail. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand how it's come to this point now where, you know, there's no consequences thus far. I did reach out to Waller police to see if there were any updates in this case. I have not heard back. Chase says the six cyclists are at home recovery waiting on surgery. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help them. You can find more information on our website. It's clicktohouston.com. Reporting live, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.